Hello and welcome to another episode of Meet Me at the Riverside Cafe with me, your host, Quinn Van from WCTV and... And me, Lydia Gurner from Wareham Week. We're joined by Dr. Mimi Secor. She's a nurse practitioner and a health and fitness enthusiast. Welcome, Mimi. Thank you very much, Thanks Lydia. Thanks for being here. I'm thrilled to be here. We are happy to have you. Now, this is episode seven. Great. And we have yet to miss an episode, so I'm very proud yeah. of Yay. us. Yes. Number seven. <laughs> it's our last one of the year. Yes, last one of yes. the year. Oh my God, I didn't think of that. Congratulations. Thank you. Happy New Year. <laughs> oh my, yes. seven, 2017, I don't know. Oh, I love seven. Okay. Good juju. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Now, um, we have been trying to get you into this show, but you yeah. are very, very busy woman traveling. You have just published your own book, Debut and New You. Yeah. So, without me going to the whole spiel, tell us a little bit about you and what you've been up to lately. Well, I am a busy bee. I'm a family nurse practitioner. I specialize in women's health and now fitness. And I just love hitting the road and having audiences to speak to that I can talk to about health and fitness and women's health. Yeah. And because I've gone through a late in life health journey, I decided to write this book to inspire others and guide others, especially people that have kind of lost hope in their lives, yeah. that feel like their time is over. Yes. You know, the dreams are for young people and I'm here to attest to the fact that if you want to go back to school at age 59 or 65, you can do it. If you want to change your life in terms of your health, you can do that at any age. Absolutely. So that's a huge message as we enter into the new year. I want people to believe they can debut a new you in the new year. And one thing That's my right deal. now, and we have been talking a lot about this, about New Year's resolutions, right? And we have heard a few Ugh. different New Year's resolutions. And, you know, so tell us where you stand so on that matter. I believe in resolutions that are very, very easy, okay. that are super attainable. You don't want to revamp your whole life because you're not going to achieve those New Year's resolutions if you think too big. Mm -hmm. You can think big, but over time. So the best thing you can do is set a goal for something small, chip away at it, chop it into little little pieces, and sort of nibble on those on those uh, new ventures of yours. That's how you build. What's an example of that? So something could be as simple as as people get older, they stop drinking water. They don't drink as much water, and we're all water, and that helps us stay healthy. So it might be as simple as drinking water in the morning when you brush your teeth, drinking water before you drink a, a eat your meal, which helps you be more full and less likely to overeat. A simple thing like that you can actually adhere to and do successfully January 1st. I was in this doctoral program crashing and burning. I wasn't sleeping, I wasn't eating healthy, I was a stressed out mess and she said, Mom, you're being a hypocrite. What the hell are you doing? You're a nurse practitioner. You should be a role model and it just smacked me. I couldn't believe the irony in that. So I said, okay, you're right, you're right. I'm gonna learn how to deal with my life, okay. deal with the stress. Graduated with 30 pounds off. 12 inches off my waist, and a doctoral degree at 61. 61. I think it's so hard yeah. to talk about you and not talk about your daughter, Kathleen. Because yeah, we're you together. Know, you, you're together while I was looking at we're your Facebook unit. pictures. <laughs> It's like every other picture, if not all, it's you and your daughter. And you guys are like sisters and friends rather than a mother and a daughter. I love well, that. Yeah, well, it's very, it is sweet. We work hard on our relationship. <laughs> She's an alpha child and she'll admit it. Okay. And so she has to negotiate around being a little bit more gentle in her approach to working together. Oh. And so it's kind of a, a, an improbable <laughs> partnership. We, we really have done our homework and we continue to work on that together. But she lives in Las Vegas. Vegas. I live in here, Cape oh, Cod, okay. but we meet up together a lot and we do a lot of virtual work together. Yes. Yeah. Yesterday we were at Planet Fitness doing some videos of exercises mm -hmm. that I'm going to have in a six week fitness launch that I'm starting shortly to yeah, yeah. begin the new year. Yeah. Jumpstart our six week fit challenge. So we were filming me and her doing yeah. different exercises that we're teaching people to do in the six week program. But right now, what are you working towards to? Like what's your... So my goal yes. is to continue to get more muscular. Okay in a way that just kind of makes me feel healthier. I don't want to be like my daughter and be a big bodybuilder. I just want to live my life as healthy as I can. And I feel like there's still great progress that I can make because I've only been lifting for a little over three years. Yeah. So my goal is to just improve on where I've been and where I might be able to go. I might be in another yeah. show, you never know. Yeah, no, Mimi, what is so different this time around? Because you said you have went up and down, up and down with your weight before, right. and these right. messages that you're passing along right now sound like messages that have been just reinvented. They're right. messages exactly. that have been around us for quite a long time. Right. What's clicking now that didn't click So then? what is clicking for me now is that I have more 
a sense of self-confidence and self-worth than I had before. So I've done a lot of work on my mindset, mm. a lot of work on looking at my beliefs about myself, about the world. And so I think that's what people have to do in order to have any change stick okay. and any change to be sustainable. And that's usually where people cut corners. They think, oh, I'm just going to drink this supplement. I'm just going to go do this, whatever diet it is, revamp my life without doing their inner homework. You got to clean that inner house. And that takes a lot of work. I think that's funny, Bob's salad. I'm not going to get it, but I think it's pretty, co pretty cool. A salad with a hamburger on. Can I do the um, steak tips and eggs, please? My daughter and I have a very active Facebook page where you can ask me questions. We both interact with our people. Mm -hmm. I also have a personal fa Facebook page, okay. Mimi Secor. Um, you can order my book through debutanewyou.com and it's packed with everything that my daughter and I do every day. Yes. So it, this is real. Okay. This is a 24-7 kind of how-to guide. Yes. And that's what I'm so excited about, that it really does help people change their lives in a simple, easy way. Yeah. I'm not interested in something complicated. We're too busy to have a complicated program. So these are interventions, things that we can all do that you can do when you're on vacation, you can okay. do when you're traveling, you can do anytime. Yeah. I believe in the chaos of your life is when you need to change your life. That, you know, that most people will say, I cannot do anything because I'm, I, yeah, until this, nope. so, and you're saying. And the problem with the perfect time is that our life doesn't sustain itself that way. We have ups and downs. And if you can cope in the chaos of your life, you can cope anytime. So I changed my life in the most stressful point of my life. And now I feel like I have trust that when the going gets tough, yes. the tough get going. I can deal with it. Okay. And that's exciting. It's very empowering. I think that's a big message in this book. Yeah. Yeah, very you can just nice. start right now. <laughs> yeah. Now, do you want to introduce our segment of the show? Is this like Ellen's game show? Yeah, something like Yay. that. You know, we I love it. To switch up. I love it. <laughs> this game is called Name, Name That Frame. Name. Oh, I love That's a funny picture. I love that picture because your expression looks so real. That's a funny picture. That was, so that was right picture? after my first bodybuilding show and I was so relieved. Yeah. Honestly, I was terrified. <laughs> I thought I was going to die of terror stepping out on that stage the first time. Honestly, I wanted to run out the back door. Why though? You took public speaking. I had never been on a stage with no clothes on. It was like so terrifying. Oh, a little teeny you, bathing oh, suit. Oh my goodness. A teeny weeny exactly. little bathing we suit. Have pictures. Like I never wore before. <laughs> I never even wore one of those when I was a little teenager. No. No. So that was just pure joy. So how did you do in that first? Time? I came in fifth in the over 40 category. Okay. I was thrilled with that. <laughs> Who is that? <laughs> <laughs> no, first of all, when I saw this, I said, didn't. Dr. Mimi know her complexion to know which people. <laughs> exactly. Like really, well, like the reason that we spray tan before yeah. a show is so the judges can see our muscle, which is kind of a joke because I don't have much muscle. So I take a, lo a really dark tan to show any muscle whatsoever. <laughs> but that's the idea behind it. How many times? Tell us about I had a three, three spray. So who picked this bikini? Well, I had a custom made. I picked the color. And I had it custom made by the woman that makes my daughter's suits, who she, do, she does, she's a sponsor for my daughter. Okay. So she gave me a great discount and I was greatly appreciative. So how do you make sure it's not like, I feel like I would it's be like It's glued on. The no. So the funniest thing is they have an area in the backstage where they say, look, we're going to be in your business. We're going to glue this thing on. And you know, they're gluing the top and they're gluing the bottom. And then they say, don't move. Because I had a bum knee for the last show. Oh, okay. I kind of hurt it on a, oh. on a broken cardio machine. Yeah. So I'm like a little flamingo backstage holding on to people because I had a bum knee and yeah. I wanted to sit down. But I knew I couldn't because then my suit would go right, right up the middle. So, oh, and I, I couldn't God. do that. So you have to kind of just stand like a statue. Oh, that's funny. A wellness center. That's funny because that's where I ended up going. Whenever I travel, I find some place to work out. It doesn't matter how tired I am. That was in Utah up in the mountains, a beautiful, beautiful resort. And looking out through the gym, you looked at the mountains. It was the most beautiful view. Now, some people may say that's too obsessive. What would you say about it? I don't think it is because okay. if you skip a day, that's one thing. Okay. If you skip several days, that can get you out of a habit which can be really hard to get back into. Mm. Rest days are very important, but if you go too many days, you're, you can be out of the habit and it can be very, very hard to get back on track. That's a picture I never thought I would see that really, um, 
That could make me cry. Yeah. I just didn't think I'd ever actually get my doctoral degree, and to go back at age 59 and actually accomplish it, accomplish it really, yeah. it's hard, for, it's shocking for me sometimes to look at that picture. How was it to be in school? Very, very hard. It was so hard. I didn't even pump gas. If I was, my eyes were open, I was doing homework or I was at the gym or I was prepping healthy food. I did not go out to eat with friends. I did not lollygag on telephones with people. I just worked. It was crazy. Oh my goodness. Did you get your PhD in? I got it as a nurse practitioner in primary care. And it was the hardest thing. Although I'd say getting physically healthy yes. has even been more challenging. Well, thank you so much for joining us in the seventh episode, the last episode of 2017 of Meet Me at the Riverside with yours truly from WCTV, Queen Banda and... Lydia Garner from Wear Him Week and... Dr. Mimi Secor, nurse practitioner from Onset, Massachusetts. I am a family nurse practitioner and I'm really into health and fitness now and I want to help you trans transform your life. And I've written a book, Debut A New You, Transforming Your Life at Any Age. And I have a book signing this afternoon at the Wareham Public Library from 4 to 6 p.m. You can enter a free drawing for a consult with me, a fitness consult with me. We'll have some good refreshments, so come by and talk with me and bring your challenges and your friends. Very good. We'll so thank you. 2018. See you next year. Here's to 20, 2018. Yes. Thank you, everybody. And that's that. That was fun. <laughs> that was fun. <laughs> <laughs>